Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a long title. The Urban Raja Fiery Sparkling Indian Fresca Refreshingly Spiced with a Touch of Cinnamon Born in Britain Spiced by India Mint and Ginger Fizzy Drink. Ha! Huh. Okay guys, so we've got that title out of the way. So. It cost me 29p from Pound Stretcher. There was also two other flavours of these. There was also the Crisp Lime and Cucumber. The link to that will be in the description below. And there's also a Mango and Papaya one. Once I reviewed that, the link will be in the description below as well. So like I said, I got it out of Pound Stretcher with the other two flavours. Uh, 29p, which is not too bad. was well, a pretty good price for a 330ml can of fizz. So we have quite a you know, a cool looking front can design. We don't often see this font too much. So, you know, it's a different style of font. It just looks cool, looks different. Of course, we have this nice shiny reflective writing here. We have all these little pattern logos and stuff. Again, which are orange and uh, pinky purplish. So again, it looks really nice and reflective on the uh, camera once you get the old light. We have the grids and stuff on the back. And we have a little uh, guide over the rubbish. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything is all standard and silver, including the pouring. And yes, it's still in date before you ask. It goes out of date in May 2020. The other one went out of date in April, so different batches. And I'm recording this in February 2020, so we're all good. So taking a closer look at the actual drink. So obviously it's made in Britain, born in Britain, spiced uh, by India. So there's a little bit of a story on the back here, which I'll read to you now. So it says, Hello, I'm the Urban Raja, and I thought it was time we slacked, slaked, slacked, our first, is it slaked or slacked? I don't know, I said that about the other can. Uh, slaked, I don't know, slacked our first with something extraordinary. This drink is the result of my spiced fruit alchemy, blending fruit juices and fresh sparkling water with Eastern botanicals. And that's it, sparkling juice drink. Uh, what do we have? Fruit juices from concentrate, always from concentrate, grape and lemon. And that's it according to the ingredients and just some other bits, ginger extract, natural mint. Sugar content is 4.8 grams per 100 ml. So it's actually 0.1 grams higher than the uh, lime and cucumber one. And uh, apart from that, there's nothing else. Oh yeah, we have the little recycle guy here with a uh, moustache and it says metal recycles forever, which I guess is true. Metal is better to recycle than other things. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it will not explode over me. So, I, like I said, I just reviewed the lime and cucumber. And this one seems really interesting. Fiery mint. Fiery mint with ginger. That is the... And the sun's just disappeared. I do apologise if it's just got dark. <laughs> so, that's a really weird combination. Mint, ginger and a hint of cinnamon. That's a really scary combination. So I'm a bit worried about this. But... Uh, we will have to find out. So anyways, I'm guessing the colour, what's the colour of this going to be? I really don't know. I'm guessing the colour is going to be brown or something. Brown or, I want to say red, but I think it's just going to be brown or something. I really don't know. And the smell and taste, well, it's probably going to smell of, it's probably going to smell of like ginger and probably taste of mint or ginger. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Anyways, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. There we go. Ooh, okay. Oh, blimey, that's uh, really bubbly. Oh, my God. That is way fizzier than uh, the other drink I've reviewed. That's way bubbly on top. Interesting, there's not many bubbles on the side, though, compared to the other one. But, uh, yeah, certainly is more fizzy on the top, although it goes fairly fast. The colour is indeed just like dirty pond water or dirty washing up water, which is just murky brown, really not appetising. Uh, colour at all and it is see-through hello so I couldn't smell the drink while pouring it out so I'll give it a smell now oh that's interesting I could smell like the ginger the fieriness but then I've, I could smell like mint at the same time and my nose is like what's going on here so that's a pretty weird combination wow I mean I've smelled that you know that fiery ginger smell so many times with drinks but to have a hint of mint in that is just Different. Ooh, yeah, right, this will be interesting. And you guys know I don't do well with spice. Okay, well, nevertheless, let's try some. I really don't know what to expect. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! 
Jesus Christ, that aftertaste is the absolute killer. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. I literally, I drank it. I was not, there was no, there was no spice, no spice, no spice. I was about to speak and then it just hit me in my throat and my mouth. Oh my God. That is really interesting blend they've got there. Let me try some more. Oh my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Nothing, nothing, and then, <coughs> oh my god, wow, okay guys, that is a really, really interesting flavour, so, oh my god, so, for having almost 5 grams of sugar in it, it doesn't seem that sweet at all, in fact, it almost seems like it has got, I mean, with that fire, the fiery kick to it, it literally seems like it has no sugar, again, having having sugar in a fiery drink just doesn't make sense uh, just doesn't make sense having having sweet sweet and fire is just totally the opposite so the fact they've got five grams of sugar in there to try and i guess make it less fiery just doesn't make sense so maybe they could do away with the sugar altogether because there really is no sweetness in there whatsoever but in terms of the mint there isn't like any mint There's, when you drink you get like a very very minimal minimal mint flavor but it's overpowered by the ginger. You then get the ginger flavour, which is very, very strong. And it literally tastes like the other ginger drinks you've tasted, like you guys, I'm sure you guys have tasted or tried before. And then after that, that, that hit touch of cinnamon, that little cinnamon dust they put in it or whatever, kicks in and it hits you in your mouth and the back of your throat. And you literally, your mouth just goes boom with the cinnamon. So it's a really interesting kind of free stage drink there. And I'll try some more. Drink it, get uh, ah, and then oh yeah, it's it's hard to speak. Like literally, it's so kicking in your mouth. Um, literally, little bit of mint. You get the ginger, and then you get that cinnamon kick in your mouth. So, as a drink, though, I mean it's disgusting. I mean, I don't like it. You know, it it's not good. But to be honest, if you do like that type of drink, albeit maybe not include the mint, but as a fiery ginger drink with a bit of cinnamon. I guess that's actually okay, you know, because um, it gives you a good kick. You know, there's no weird flavours or weird aftertastes. Like I said, it doesn't taste, you know, sugary or sweet or artificial. It does taste like you've got a real ginger taste with a cinnamon kick, you know. Um, so I guess if you're into that, then that's great, you know. For, for what it is, I understand that coming from someone else's point of view. They would probably like that drink because of the ginger kick and it gives you a good, good hell of a kick. So... For that reason, I'll give I'll give it a thumbs up for that reason. But for me personally, like me drinking it, I'm not a fan of it, so I will give it a thumbs down. But for that style of drink, like I just said, it gets a thumbs up to be fair to the drink. So, but yeah, interesting one. Definitely interesting. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.